Let me show you how beautiful are these Central American sliders. Check on our eggs. Eggs are good. Am I ADD? Yeah, a little bit. Hey guys, you got a little bit there. Does anything look different here? Check it out. It's gone. Now why is it gone? So this is gonna be the Cayman complex of Camp Kennan. Wow, a lot of alliteration. This is awesome. It's huge. I know that at the end of all this, we are gonna really transform this space. So remember what it looks like here, guys. We do have some colossal rest. Yeah! I gotta make sure all aspects of my life are in balance. Oh. What's going on everyone? Ken in here and uh, man, what an insane couple of weeks I've been having. We've had animals stolen, animals retrieved. We've got court cases. I've got family coming into town. I got turtle sunbathing right here. Here's our Badiger borneensis right there, just sunbathing, other turtles are dropping in. Um, I've also got so much work going on and I had these crazy, I had a surgery on my hand yesterday. And what happened was I was playing with my Christmas gift. <clears throat> also got dust. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of work today. I tore down a barn today. I'll show you guys in a minute. But anyway, I want to just give you an update of everything that's going on. Uh, it's nuts, the amount of stuff I have happening right now uh, at the camp and in my life. And I just wanted to download everybody on it, tell you what to expect. And of course, check my animals because I've been working all day. And whenever I'm working, unfortunately, it pulls me away from my favorite thing to do, and that is care for all these animals. So I have to make sure that everybody is good. But as I was saying, I got this gift for Christmas, throwing axes, and they're awesome. And they're made out of metal, but I was goofing around with one and I threw it with my finger on the spine and I wound up getting uh, a bunch of metal stuck in my finger. So I had to have surgery to get it removed, splinters. And uh, that was done yesterday. Happily, they got everything. I'm not picking my nose as much anymore. And um, <clears throat> it's a joke, people. Uh, but, I, you know, everyone picks their nose from time to time. Let's be honest. We've got to be real. We keep it real here at the camp. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, they got all of the metal out, which is good because it was really uncomfortable. But now I've got a bunch of stitches in my finger. I have to exercise my finger, but I had to work. Ain't no one working for me. So uh, now this is a very dirty um, Band-Aid and I've got to not get it wet and I've got to keep everything chill. Uh, and of course we've got the Central American sliders. These maniacs are coming up. What's up kids? We love turtles here at the camp, don't we? We got a new male um, Emidura subligosa or pink belly side neck. Let's go. Get, oh look, come on, go down. You gotta go down. They are so ravenous, these little guys. So, here's another, here are the other two coming over. See them? So awesome, man. I love this pond. And um, why am I working my butt off? Okay, so you guys have been following me for a while and you know that um, we've got a lot happening. And you know also, there's some pink belly side neck right there. Pretty turtle. Uh, I love that turtle. And um, of course, these little maniacs doing their thing swimming all over. I love these turtles, let's grab one. Let me show you, how beautiful are these Central American sliders? That is a pretty little turtle, huh? Just a cute little guy and they're growing so much. Go ahead. And they're really tame. They tame up nicely. So I really enjoy having them in these ponds. Uh, anyway, um, I gotta work no matter what. And uh, we've got a lot going on in just a few days, everyone. Check on our eggs. Eggs are good. Am I ADD? Yeah, a little bit. There's a lot happening. Um, so, whew, in just a couple of days, we are gonna have Fred's pair of giant alligators here. And I can't believe it. It's been so much work. I had Fish and Wildlife come this week and they signed off on my enclosure. We still have these beauties to take care of. There's Nostradamus. Hey, Nazi, how you doing? Good to see you. And then of course, we've got the big galops. We've got Darwin and Socrates here. Hey guy, oh, you got a little tick there, dude. That's what I'm here for. We're plucking ticks off tortoises and squishing the ticks. And what are you doing? Unfriendly, you're not the friendly one. You and I have become better friends since you had your neck stuck, huh? I think she remembered that I took her little 
Got her little neck out of there. We got you out of a predicament, didn't we? Oh, look at this. There's a tick right there, too. Ticks happen. I just squeeze them and squish them and done. This guy ain't dead yet. We're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to go to take evasive measures. There you go. Now he's dead. All right. Well, you know, things got to get done. Let's see what Nazi's doing. Here he is. Hey, did I scare you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's give him a scratch. And up. Oh, look at this. This is why we do this. See, we got a lot of ticks this time of year. We got to pluck them right off. This is what birds do in their natural surroundings. They'll fly down and they'll actually pluck off these ticks. Look at this, look at all these ticks. This is horrible. Look at that, so many, man. Crazy. That's what I'm here for, though. Right, good, good care of you. What are you doing? You're just gonna muscle your way in here? These guys have ate, they've eaten rather. So I'm not worried about them starving to death. But what we can do is take these ticks and we're gonna throw them in the front pond and the cichlids will eat them, which I think is pretty cool. We'll just toss them in the water. Circle of life, as they say. So yes, we will be heading to Fred's house soon. See this, look, see the cichlids? They just nabbed them right up. Done. See you guys. I love it. Nothing's wasted in nature. So, um, and I'm part of nature. Don't you forget it. I don't mind reaching my hand in and making things happen. Um, yeah, so craziness. Um, I've been building and working with this hand, which slowed me down. So I had um, hired a day laborer who helped me out, my buddy Sammy C. And uh, we did a lot of work today. I had to go to the dump twice. We filled this trailer up two times. This is Jerry's trailer. I wanted to just kind of show you how it's going to go down when we get these gators. We're going to get these gators here in a couple of days and they're going to be in this trailer and we're going to transport them back to my house. Fred's house is about 35 minutes from mine and um, basically I'm going to go over there. We have John Brugan from St. Augustine Alligator Farm. He's the GM of that entire place and he's donating his time to help me move these animals. I've got some buddies of mine coming to help. Strong, young, able-bodied lads, and we're gonna be able to get these animals all caught up. The other cool thing is my sister's coming into town. You guys will meet her because she said she wants to jump on the back of an alligator. And since I'm not gonna be able to do it, most likely, uh, we'll just have my sister do it. She kind of looks like me with long hair. <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, I don't know. I think we will uh, have a good time. But in the meantime, we're just checking everyone. I want to see, make sure everyone's doing well. There's our cherry heads. The, uh, there's a squirrel. We still have to move this, but let me show you what I did today. So you guys have an idea um, of just how much work. Does anything look different here? Things look different, people? Check it out. All the lumber that I saved from the barn. Remember I had a barn with lumber in it? It's now living up here. Look at this, I had to put all this lumber up here that I'm saving. Did that by hand, we got tin roof, we got insulation, anything I could save that'll eventually come in, come into play. Oh, I was thawing these guys out. We've gotta, we gotta thaw these out and we're gonna give these to Buttercup before I go. Don't let me forget people, lots happening as I mentioned. Uh, but yeah, the barn's gone, man. I took my uh, mile yeah, marker winch man. on my truck and this morning, my father-in-law was That's here it. with my buddy Sammy, Flint and we just sucker. yanked the roof right off this sucker. But look at this. It's gone. Now, why is it gone? Pray tell. Why did I get rid of it? Well, whoop, you got a hole right there. Uh, I got to stamp this in. It was where one of the tortoises started to dig. Um, here's what's going to happen. We're removing this tree right here, 35 feet off our perimeter. We're immediately going to start building on March 14th. We're gonna build a big wetland here, a wetland here that's gonna be a filtration system, but it's also gonna double as a dwarf caiman habitat right here. The pond will be, I think we're going 20 by 15 foot enclosures and the ponds, as you know, dwarf caiman don't need a lot of water. They just need soaking and some land areas. There are more terrestrial species of crocodilian, but we're gonna have one right here and then there'll be another enclosure right here. 
for the smooth front caimans. Okay, so we'll have another one. There's three of them. And then over here, in this area is gonna be a larger pond, and that's for the larger smooth fronts. And uh, it's gonna be awesome, man. So this is gonna be the Cayman Complex of Camp Kennan. Wow, that's a lot of alliteration. Uh, the Cayman Complex of Camp Kennan. Cool. Anyway, my, uh, I think my seventh grade um, English teacher, Mrs. Uh, Toronto, would be proud I remembered what alliteration is. Do you know what it is? Uh, give me some alliteration in the comments below. Hook it up. Let's go. Get creative. Anyway, um, yeah, we got to get rid of that mango tree. We're going to have a fence around the complex here, butted up against this. I'm talking to my friends at Universal Rocks. Good old Stuart. Maybe we're going to have a little bit Universal Rock on that to hide the ugly looking warehouse. What do you guys think? Why not? And um, yeah, we're just going to do that. And on on the, in the next couple of days here we're gonna back a trailer up with a bunch of alligators two actually not really a bunch is it uh we're gonna get two gators and they're gonna live in here and this is awesome check it out we're gonna have to safely bring them into this we have to get locks on these gates and we're gonna put them right in here and hope that they're gonna be happy in this enclosure what do you guys think about the enclosure i'm really psyched uh, it passed its inspection. Uh, it is, it's huge. It's a big enclosure. It's, um, it's got visual barriers. We've got an island right there. We've got a big pond here. We've got a canal there. We've got another section here. Um, if the gators want to get away from each other, they're going to be able to do that. Plenty of basking up along here. When these trees, these cypress trees, come back into full bloom in about a month, it is going to look like the most natural... Well, it is a natural pond, isn't it? It's got native Florida plants. It's got cypress. It is a true gator swamp here. So uh, this is Crocodile Corner at Camp Cannon, the gator swamp. And then there's the Cayman Complex. So we're really doing so much. And it's exciting. It's an honor. And it's a little bit overwhelming. A um, lot of resources are being used, you know, we're uh financially and with time and that's why guys you know i have to apologize you know this video is catching you up because basically i'm the one doing the work here and um man it is just so much but i know that at the end of all this we are going to really transform this space so remember what it looks like here guys because in just a few weeks the aquascape crew is coming back here and they are building some amazing Cayman habitats. It's going to be the first time that we've built a crocodilian enclosure with Aquascape and they've got some great ideas. They are the pond and habitat masters. So it's going to be awesome. I'm really excited. But let's go in and see Buttercup, man. You guys haven't seen her in a while. Uh, I know you love her. You gotta love her. She's a cutie. Let's go grab her. I need to see. I don't know where my tongs are, but we do have some colossal rats and she's gonna grab them. And uh, what a way to like, just kind of hang with each other. I just wanted to show you guys what's going on in my life. Hang out with you. And uh, let's get her fed. Oh good, she's up there. And she is in the mood for food. So we gotta open this up, okay. And uh, what I'll do, just go ahead and don't look at the code, okay? I'm going to turn the code. I'm going to keep things cheaper here. Uh -huh. And um, we're going to lock it. But there's our girl. You guys haven't seen her in a while. She is happy. That's a happy girl. Let's get her a little morsel. This is, of course, admittedly small. But there it is. Oh, God. <laughs> I get a little scared. There she goes. All right. Buttercup. She's got her food. What a pretty girl, pretty, pretty girl. Oh man, I'm in a good mood. I'm happy, she feels nice and warm. Now the rules say here in Florida that she's now, she's now gotta stay inside this building for the rest of her life. So we have UVB lights here from Fluker, they're sunspots, and uh, she's just doing well. Look, she's got a nice weight. And uh, yeah, let's get the rest of this food in here. She'll know what to do with it. There's no, uh, you know, there's really no drama. We just kind of throw it up there and she'll find it and eat it. And um, yeah, 
that's it. Good times with Buttercup. People, I love you. I really appreciate all of you, man. Uh, hang in there, guys. Once we get these enclosures built, we are gonna have so much fun with the crocodilians here. We are gonna educate you. We're gonna learn together. We're gonna be feeding them. We're gonna have a lot, a lot of new content here at the camp. So right now, it's a little bit tricky to, to get new fresh content out. I apologize, but I really do know that you guys know how hard I'm working. And uh, that's what's important. We're working hard, keeping animals alive and healthy. And of course, we are getting our friend Fred's animals in the best possible situation for them because that's what Fred always wanted. And um, you know me, man. Fred was one of my favorite people on earth. So it's an honor. And I don't mind busting my butt. Now here's the deal. I stink to high heaven. The wifey poo is home. We are going to go ahead and hang out, catch up with each other because none of this happens without my wife. And I got to make sure all aspects of my life are in balance. The animals, my body, mind, and wife. You know what they say, right? Happy wife, happy life. Anyway, I'm going to mosey on in. You guys, hope you had a great weekend. I hope everything's going well for you. Will you guys check back here in a little bit so that we can do another video, hang out again? And uh, we're gonna have some alligators and they're gonna be big. Now, like I said, a lot of people, I've seen some comments like, why are you getting alligators? You're not in danger. <laughs> they're Fred's, it's an honor. And um, I'm taking these animals because Fred didn't want anyone else to have them. He wanted me to have them because he knows that I would go above and beyond to make those animals happy. In the meantime, I'm gonna sign off, but why don't we say hello to the Badiger. I, I keep trying to get to, to leave, but there's so much happening in the camp. Here are, oh, there goes a male Badiger, and look how fast that Fly River Turtle goes, wow. Oh man, I don't know if you guys saw it, but if you did, wow, that was fast. Turtles move fast when I want them. I think I'm gonna jump in here. I'll talk to you guys later, be safe, be good, and be nice to animals. So long.